I'm in Salad and I saw the boys season two, episode two, Proper Preparation and Planning. It is directed by Liz Freilander, written by Rebecca Sonenshine. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts when we're following Billy Butcher and he's alive. I'm happy about this. He's trying to look up information about Becca, his wife. He thought that Becca was simply raped and killed by Homelander. But in fact, she was just raped by Homelander and she has a son. It seems like Billy Butcher is gonna go after Becca. Meanwhile, Annie is like, oh, I stole some Compound V and I'm gonna put it in my boot. Oop. And guess who's here? A train is here. What you put in your boot takes out what's in her boot. Compound V, what's this about? Oh, you with the boys? Ooh, you're with the, you're with the boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. And I'm like, oh boy, how is Annie gonna get out of the situation? Because she could get ran through. <laughs> she could get ran through, like he ran through a pop claw and ended up murdering. You know, or you know, could just use that for blackmail. Wow! And she does do that. And I'm like, oh, good on you, Annie. She's learning. Man, I remember Annie from the beginning of the series. She was nice, sweet, innocent. I don't know if she would've used blackmail, but in this episode, she's blackmailing A-Train. Like, yo, you tell my secret, I'm gonna tell your secret. You killed Popclaw, dude. Just cause you wanted to go fast. You just wanted to keep on going fast. And I'm like, okay, so it seems like them two are a stalemate. And I'm just sitting here like, okay. Hmm, I'm thinking there could possibly be one, one or both secrets revealed in the future if one of them messes up and so the other is like, oh, you have more secrets than I do. I'm going to tell your secrets. That's just my prediction for the series, but that's not happening in this episode. Speaking of Becca, speaking of Homelander, Homelander's like, I want to play with my son. Becca is like, you know, naturally like, no, he doesn't have your powers. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting. It's known in the universe that people are given compound V in order to gain superpowers. But does that powers, do these powers go down, pass down generationally? And I'm thinking no, because Compound V is just something you give somebody and then they have superpowers. It, it doesn't seem like it would pass down genetically. However, though, you do got genetics are literally being altered here. So it is a possibility that they could be passed down. It's a whole, it's a whole thingy thing that I'm having while watching this episode. I'm like, oh boy, I'm curious if uh, Ryan has Homelander's powers. Also, it seems like Ryan hates Homelander. Like, Homelander's like, come here, son, come here. And he's like, I don't even want to do it, Dad. Mm, I, I don't like you. And like, Becca's over here being, she's a single mom, essentially. Homelander just kind of comes in, goes whenever. And she, Becca doesn't seem like the type of chick that she wants Homelander to have any influence over her son. She says it explicitly. She's like, no, I'm not having Homelander raise my son. Homelander's gonna raise him to be the worst person ever. I'm trying to raise him right. Also, it's fun. We got, we got a good old pal Homelander's like, I'm gonna see if he has powers. Come here, come to the roof. Come to the roof. I'm gonna push you off the roof. And he just falls. And I'm like, okay, you kind of done goofed there, Homelander. Oops. Uh, and of course, Ryan's like super pissed. He's like super injured. Or it appears, I thought it would be, but he just kind of gets up normally. I'm like, hmm, this is weird. This is sussy. And then, you know, they get in a little bit of a fight and he's like in incredibly angry. And he like shoots out his laser eyes like, Rah! I was like, whoa, this guy has powers? And I'm thinking, okay, so the compound V like changes the genetics that you have, and then it those genetics get transferred down to 
a child. So that child doesn't have to take any compound V. It just has those altered genetics from Homelander. Okay. And that, in that case then, how many powers of Homelanders does he have? Becca is a human. Homelander's got that compound V in him. He's, he's, he's a soup. How many powers does he have? And I'm thinking that while I see him develop some of his powers, I'm like, all right, let's go. What I find the most interesting about this episode is the fact that we have the deep and he's in therapy and he's taking some sort of hallucinogenic and he's having his gills. His stomach gills are talking to him. I'm like, whoa, you have gills? That's interesting. But also he's like, oh man, I don't want to look at my gills at all. But like his gills are talking. And I really like the way that the show does this because his gills are talking. His, his gills are like, you violate other women because you can't accept your own body. And he just like hates himself deeply. When he got the compound V, he got gills on him. And he just like hated it. He's like always wearing that suit as a result. I mean, I get it. These gills kind of are gross. These are really gross gills, but you got them on your body. You got to accept that you got your gills on your body. And it takes, it takes a while for the deep to really accept it. There was a point where he's like, I don't want to look, mm, I don't want to look. Mm. And then at some point the gills convinced him, the gills convinced him to take a look at his own gills. He's looking at his own gills and he's like, you know, I accept my body. I love myself. It takes a whole hallucinogenic trip in order for him to accept his body. I'm like, okay. So it looks like the Deep has accepted his body. I hope he doesn't uh, do any more bad against women. Because what he did with, the st with Starlight was no good. That was not good at all. And I feel really bad for Starlight that she had to go through this because of the Deep's own personal problems. This episode makes me really excited for the upcoming episodes because it just establishes so much in one episode. It establishes like so many plot points, right? I'm like, oh wow, Ryan has powers. What is he gonna do with that? Is he gonna love his dad? He's gonna hate his dad. Oh wow, the deep, uh, he accepts his body. What is he gonna do with that? He's gonna show off his body. He's gonna open his thing and be like, I'm here, here I am. Here's my gills, right? I just. And excited. Also, Annie almost got caught, but she was slick, and I liked that. I like how slick she is, and I think it's kind of risky for Huey to bring her in in the first place, but I get it. You're trying to take them, take down Vought, you're trying to take the compound V to the media, I get it. So, this episode, it gets like a solid 8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track, a movie review, you can do that for $20 dinos at patreon.com slash ASTPresents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to his link tree. Find the way you can help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews. So I can go here. And until next time I'm in South Saw, I'll see you later my Saw croutons and bacon bits. <laughs>